Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing today? Uh, today is mail day. I just got something in the mail because, well, that's why I'm calling it mail day. And it is something I am so excited for. And I wanted to open it up with you guys. So here it is. Straight from Salvino's JR over there in Corona, California. And they sent it to little old me, Lucy. And this is mine for me. I just look so forward to this. Let's look and see what it is. And just to let you guys know, you can get something like this if you join the Builders Club. You get it before everybody else, but you also get a little bit extra. So let's uh, go ahead and, without cutting my fingers off, get this baby open. And look at <laughs> You get all this cool extra stuff when you get a kit, your monthly kit. <laughs> Look at, hey, it's Manny, Moe, and Jack, the three best friends. <laughs> I, I was looking forward to getting that sticker. That's cool. I think I'm going to put this on my car Yeah, because I'm silly like that. Think that'll look good on the old Fox body? Yeah, I got to get that on there. And cool, you see what it is, and we'll get that out of the way real fast. And I have it upside down. It's the Richard Petty Charger. And whenever you get a kit of the month, you also get, you know, your extra vermilion decals. And uh, I got a couple of those. Those can be very helpful in making the Richard Petty car. Um, and, and then you get the kit. How cool is that? And a box. Really good box. I'm keeping that box. But there we are. There's the kit. Let's get some glare off of it. I'm sure you guys have seen, there's been other videos up already of showing this kit off a few build videos a few guys who have built some great great models of this car this very car like my buddy louie here man that one was pretty cool he busted that one out real quick when he got it and did a great great job am i gonna build this nah probably not not in the richard petty colors i got a better plan but that's for a later date what we want to do is we not only want to show you this but of course Lucas C. always wants to do things a little bit different. And what we got planned today is, let's get this out of the way and I will show you. I'm going to compare it to the old MPC kit because I happen to have one of those. So how cool is that, huh? Hey, <laughs> let's do it. But before we get going on that whole deal, I'm going to go ahead and open this up, okay? Which again, you've seen uh, the reviews or uh, lookovers, whatever you want to call it, box openings. Other guys have done it. Other guys have built it, uh, did some build videos. That's great. But this is going to be a compare from the old, to what builders used to have to what us builders today have now, thanks to the Silvino clan. All right. So let's just dig into this and take a look at this new kit that we have now and uh looks like a charger right on man oh yeah see wait till we start getting into comparing that mpc charger this is already i already see some things i'll point out that look really cool i like this but yeah it's not like that polar lights uh that just was it, that was just incredibly off I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I've been wanting to do a charger and uh, cool. I don't have to use my MPC one. I can just leave that up on the museum shelf because this is definitely better anyway. We'll, we're going to show you why. So we've seen all this. It's uh, Silvino's tires. Always good. Always nice. Excellent quality. Great glass. And there's something that I saw. It looks like the, where the glass fits in, you've got a shelf in there. The glass fits right up in there. Oh, that's sweet. Awesome. And this has been a... Uh, I haven't gone over this chassis, but uh, everybody's kind of seen their chassis. 
This is basically the chassis that's out of the Grey Ghost and stuff. A few added parts to make it more like the, the Petty type chassis. But uh, we've got all pretty much the basic stuff. Excellent plastic, injection, everything like that. It's got everything here you need. And then there's some... Oh, I like this detail here for the fuel cell. And let's look. Oh, 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 I see some cool stuff here. So we've got a uh, very nice looking hood. Beautiful steelies right there. If you want to do an early car, I believe they probably put that in for the 71 that's coming out. And then, of course, here we have our uh, the wheels you'd want to use on this car, which are those slotted wheels. And we have a uh, valve cover here for the smaller engine if you want to do a, a later car. You get a hold of the decals, I'm sure they're available for that. And we also have different grills. Well, there's, oh, that's something cool, having the back bumper and a separate tail light block out. And we've got two different types of uh, front ends here. One is for this car and the other one is for the 71 coming out that's typical Silvino's fashion of going ahead and doing it all on on one parts tree for multiple kits it's just it saves in production and then we end up with extra parts so i'm not complaining and how i got this kit this says it all right here if i can ever get this open is the Silvino's builders club i'll just let you guys take a look at this it gives you the information on that it's a great club we meet online on Facebook on Wednesday nights and have really great conversations. You get a little insight on what's going on in the company and things that are being planned before anybody else does. And it's all hush hush. There's no speaking of nothing. And I'm not going to tell nothing here. Then you guys will eventually find out later on. But we, we get first uh, privy on that. Everybody who is in that club, uh, hey, you guys, you're watching this. Go ahead and put in the comments what you think about being in the club. And uh, everybody seems to be pretty happy. It's pretty cool. Look at these, the uh, set of instructions. <laughs> pretty high quality. Nice instructions. Oh, I see some cool things. Neat little detail for the fillers. I like how that whole, the whole filler is set up. We'll have to take a closer look at it. Here's something that's very cool that we never had. Is this inside sheet metal that goes you know, fills along the door and uh, B pillar there for aerodynamics and just keeping the wind going in the right direction. If we're gonna look at these decals, I can already see, as usual, they're always really good. So you get the 426 in white or in yellow, depending on what race you're trying to depict. You have all your pinstriping too, that if you want to paint it or if you want to use these vermilions now the vermilion is something you get extra you get that with the club uh, the kit does not come with these vermilion decals um, it is designed for you to paint it but uh, the, the vermilion decals are available you contact uh, you contact Silvino's JR for that but very nice power slide decals and uh, that's pretty pretty awesome I like them Again, there's other people who've done some videos of the unboxing and unveiling and showing off this kit. And we just got a quick overview. But what I really want to do is I'm going to set up and I want to show you both kits. The old and the new. And why this is so exciting to have something that, uh, you know, first of all, to try to get a hold of one. They're pretty, pretty high dollar as far as the old MPC ones. I happen to have one. I've had it for a long time always planned on building it but you know i probably won't now because not because it's the old one and i want to keep it but it's because well uh, quite honestly what we have now is a heck of a lot better than this so let's look at it so here we are i've got two awesome kits of pretty much the same car 1973 dodge charger of richard petty's here we have a kit that came out around 73 74 from MPC of that car and then we have what just came out this month in 2021 the Salvino's JR version not a repop whatsoever and here we get to see 
what we had and what we have now. If someone says that model cars were and the hobby were so much better in the olden days, yeah, okay, this kit might have cost four dollars, five dollars, but you know, the times change, everything's gone up. You used to be able to buy a brand new car for about uh, two or three grand, and now you gotta pay 30 grand. So, price isn't the whole point. The thing is, is what we get today compared to what we got back then, well. There's a big difference, and we're going to take a look at why. Even closer detail that you might not even think about that they put into the Salvino's kit that is just not in the old MPC kit. And what we're going to start out with are, I'm going to, I'm going to take the three fellas out of there. And we are going to put down the MPC kit right here. And we are going to put down... Right there, the Salvinos. We're gonna get a close-up comparison here. And we've also got our chrome and chrome and all kinds of things. So I'm gonna get all that stuff out and we're gonna take a closer look and a comparison and see everything. So here we go. Okay, so here we got the bodies. Uh, you get an upwards view of it. You can see they're pretty much exactly the same length. I will pull out the hood, it's still on the tree. That's for this car. And let's get the hood for the Savino's car. And here is the hood for that. I don't have things trimmed up, but uh, there's something I'm noticing right away. You can take a look right here and here. This is a little more accurate for the car. There was a peak here, and I know that's something a lot of the Dodge guys have mentioned in the past is MPC and as they did street cars many times it just it was just straight across well kind of just a slight curve where they got that a little more correct where you got that like a widow's peak type of thing going on that hood which is much more accurate for the car and that is a cool thing right there upgrade if we take a look at the the bodies um, one thing that you'll notice, this is a big deal with a stock car body, the way they massaged these things and the sheet metal that uh, right here, the old MPC car, this was basically a street car and you can still see the remnants of a street car. You see that? We've got uh, the side marker lights, but that's not a big deal. But this is pretty much just kind of a warmed over street car, uh, you know, from, from an annual kit. That they just turned it into the stock car where the Savinos, this is a full on race car body, but uh, where we have our huge difference is in this front fender. How I don't know if you can really tell, but there was a lot of massaging going on to cut through the wind and fit those big tires. And you can see, especially when you look from above, can you see how the flare is? I've got a little bit more of a bulge right there. That uh, this was being a street car, doesn't have that. The wheel well is pretty low. You've got your wheel well that's up high. And again, let me try to get you a nice comparison here. Where this is just set up a little better to be a stock car. And if we take a stock car tire, it's not a, exactly correct. Let's just put that in the wheel well right there so you can see I know this is a 24 scale 80s wheel and tire but just to give you an idea even that fits in there pretty good and look at how much higher up is and you've got all that bulge right there to have your wide tire in there boy I bet you could dump this really low and you just don't have it with this you're just not going to get that right. That, that This needs to be up higher. You'd have to do a lot of modifying and a lot of putty in to get that, that uh, what you would have had to do. But you don't need more because you got this kit here. Just a lot of cool work was done in this fender here. And it's a swoops down just ever so such compared to street car. It's just, just a... a more accurate for what you're wanting to build, building a NASCAR stock car of the day. Not so much on this one. Beautiful kit. They were cool at the time, but uh, not really, not really the stuff that you need. 
So that is pretty cool. Even in the quarter panel, you can see there is a bit, a bit, little bit more of a, a curvature to it where you can fit the big tires. That's probably the biggest thing about the kit. I think for outward appearance, you're going to want to have that modification to that front end so you can get that thing dumped real low and the tires and wheels are going to look great in there. As far as the kit, well, your chassis, obviously, in this, in this Silvino's kit is much better, way better than um, what MPC had, which if any of you were familiar with MPC, here's a, a bag of parts here. It was just a generic kit. It wasn't accurate for anything, really. You can see that the roll cage was just, it looked like rebar, for goodness sakes. And it was really thin. And it was, this is a cumbersome thing to put together and build. And you just, it just didn't work out for you. <laughs> Where this is, goes together much nicer, the Silvino's chassis. You've got much better looking roll cage. Your roll cage is just way better. A little more correct in scale and it doesn't look like a rebar so there you go with that the old mpc you had one bumper it's not really right again if you look here the bumper on the mpc it's just straight across i can't get a good angle it's still on the tree i don't want to bust it off but you know it fits fits that incorrect hood right there but you got one style that's it that year in chrome looking at the Salvino's chrome you have two different bumpers one is going to be the 71 this is for the 73 because the 71's coming out they're just going to throw the same chrome tree in there you have the valve covers and obviously the heads and everything to do your smaller chrysler engine when they drop down the small block but we also have the hemi heads and hemi valve covers and that big intake. So you have everything to make the Hemi, or if you want to make the small engine car that they started running, I guess in 74, I want to say. I like this, how different from the MPC is, this is all one piece with the panel there. Here we've got the open rear bumper and you just pop the panel in there. And that can be something very cool, because what I would do is I want to keep this chrome very chrome, and you could take this and you shoot that with a little bit of flat clear dull coat and it's going to look like an aluminum panel in there that really will up up the detail look for you i like that shifter that's pretty cool much better carburetor so a lot of options in this kit that not only do you have one two but also three three choices a front bumper and this was a third option bumper for chargers that was called an elastomeric it was basically like a very dense rubber and they would be painted body color richard would run those several times several of the charger teams would run that bumper that's what you would see when it would be painted body color oh look at that that's very cool a couple of different styles headrests that he went with that's very cool. This this was uh, something that was actually later on they did, and this was earlier. Oh, and we have another panel right here if you want to paint it. So they give you a lot of extra parts to give you a decision on what you want, how you want to do it. That's pretty cool. You got your choices of different wheels. There's more wheels. There's chrome ones. There's unc Holy cow. There's like three sets of wheels in this kit. What's wrong with you, Jim? What's wrong with you, Rick? What are you... Chris, are you guys, are you, are you drinking on the job? <laughs> hey, we're benefiting. Cool. And this is something that's really super cool right there that you did not get in the MPC kit. I mean, there's no need to look at the MPC kit anymore because, you know, you just, that's all you got. But this, look at this. These are all the pieces of aluminum that fit into your, into your window right here that they would run, especially in the super speedways, it kind of helped keep the air from going and tucking around into here and this turned into a big parachute. That is a cool added piece and something you could paint separate. You probably would. Sometimes they were body color. A lot of times they were just aluminum in those earlier days. Louis Mayer did a beautiful, beautiful job on his 
basically built it the way it is on the box art, the 73 Dodge Charger, and it looks fantastic. You can see how these things build up nice. Louie can comment down on the bottom. <laughs> uh, he, uh, it went together pretty, pretty easy for him, so that's, that's cool. But heck, guys, we haven't had a, a really good charger to build any of these chargers from those early cool days of NASCAR, and now we can. Uh, I have a special one I'm going to do with this that uh, I've been wanting to do a 73-74 charger that I'll talk about some other time but it's kind of unique it's somewhat of a movie car but not really a movie car it's more of a m version of a car that's from the book and the movie later on was something different and uh, that's what I want to do with this we'll probably cover that in another video for fun nice detail the lower valence pops right in there oh yeah they, they fit a lot better too they got those shelves kind of fits right into place you glue that in from what i heard you want to glue both valences lower valences before you put put the chassis and i guess you want to glue that together and paint it together that's what i've heard get onto the uh groups like there's uh selvino groups and nascar groups there on facebook that have a lot of guys that have been building these and you can take a look i just wanted to show you guys what we had and what we have I'm pretty, pretty much liking what we got now. Uh, this one I'm just going to put away. It's now just a museum piece. No need to build it. No, it's not for sale. I'm keeping it. Um, I was actually going to build what I planned on this. I was going to build with this, but I'd rather use this. This is pretty cool. Really like the dimensions of this charger. This was pretty good in its day. I mean, it was a good looking charger, but... It's, that's a street car right there. There is a lot of differences. Oh, look at that. You even have a little blank out you could put in there. So if you wanted to change or put a hole here and put the blank that you got right there onto here, and you could do a Riverside car. That's cool. Them Silvinos guys. Oh, wait. We're getting, getting you got more stuff to show you. I, I'm ready to wrap up, and I see more stuff to show you. Look at the different grills, the different years. Different style grills. There's like a, a short track with all your venting in the headlights. You got your blanked out headlights. And then you got your earlier grill that will go for the 71. Options, options, options. You just never have too many options. And that's what's really cool about these kits is they throw in a whole bunch of options. Look at that. That would go behind the body. And you take that cap and put it right there. And there's your filler. Gives you a really good look there. And, oh, it has the two different types. That's like the early ones when they would have to spin them off. And then later when they went to the aircraft fueling type, you got that. So you have your options, which um, later on the cars had that. So you, this has got you covered for everything. Ooh, and right here, look what that is. That's pretty neat. That is the uh, overflow. And you can put that really anywhere. That would go sometimes right there. Or it would go up on top of the fender right there. That's a pretty cool little piece right there. And that was usually just a piece of tin tapped out, kind of bulged up like that. And you can see how it's, you see that? How it's, you get a good look there? How it's all open there? Oh, that is sweet. And then you can paint that just an aluminum color and you have it separate instead of, well, here they had it molded onto the car right there and you'd have to paint it and it would probably get buried in the paint and then you'd have to try to detail that and you got that set. see there's they're, they're thinking ahead and that's what i like i like the thinking ahead so here we go we already looked at the salvino's uh quality of their instruction sheet and let's just take a look at the old mpc instruction sheet and look at that we've got the decals all yellowed and but even for back then i mean these decals you could probably save them but why bother that's what you got back then and this is what you get now even if these were brand new come on who the heck is winning we're winning that is cool let's take a look at the old instructions from the old mpc general mills and they let us know we needed tube cement art brushes spray paint hobby knives alligator clips tape the tweezers <sighs> it gave a little thing on richard petty himself old richard don't call me dick petty 
This kind of will show you everything about this kit. Just a quick overview. Pretty basic. You know, they built into nice kits for back in the day. Uh, the, the, if any of you have any experience with the old MPC NASCARs, just know uh, how fuddlesome this chassis and roll cage was. Yeesh. And then again, like I always said, to me, you know, it always looked like it was made of rebar. There's your cool old instructions from the old kit. But yes, that's cool. So there you go. The old comparison. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun taking a look. I've been real excited about this kit coming out. And uh, how cool is that? I had a lot of fun doing this comparison here. Getting a good look at that, uh, those different fenders. What we got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned some things. Look at those great decals. And uh, the old MPC decals is about all I can say about that. <laughs> but yeah, I tell you, this was fun. I was excited to get in this kit. This is going to be a fun kit to build. You guys, if you haven't gotten it and you were wondering, well, wonder no more. It is cool. Uh, no need to try to hunt down an old MPC kit. Pay a lot for it. Or if you happen to have one, just hold on to it for fun if you want. Or build it. Hey, that's cool too. I'm not saying nothing, but... I'll tell you, to get a really good looking model, you're going to have a lot easier time and not have to spend as much because <laughs> we got them available now and I'm sure you're going to start seeing these in some of your hobby shops that carry Salvino's JR model kits. You can buy them on their online store or you can buy them at Mike's Decals online. You can buy them at Wes's Model Car Corner and Model Roundup. I know they're selling this kit online or again you can just go straight to Silvino's JR models and pick one up there and remember we've got our mugs and our shirts at a teespring store go on over there and get what you need we got a ton of it I want to thank my producers here's my producers thanks a bunch for watching you know what we say here this is me, Lucas C. Keep gluing those fingers together and keep cutting that styrene. We'll see you in the next video. Oh my God, I finished it. That's what I say. <laughs>